Today I want to talk about Crush Blacks versus Milky Blacks. I've been noticing people are misusing these two terms a lot at the moment. Both involve changes on the shadow side of your photo's histogram, but they're really not the same. So I thought I'd do my, uh, I thought I'd do my civic duty and make a quick video to try and clear things up a bit. Because there's nothing worse than, I don't know, being in a conversation with a client, dropping some industry jargon in, and having them correct you. And this is definitely one of those terms that's always being misused. Okay, so what are crushed blacks? Well, the crushed black look, which is also sometimes called the clip black look, is achieved by taking the shadow areas of your image and making them black. Basically, you're crushing multiple shades of dark gray into pure black. Now, when you should use this look is really, it's a stylistic choice, so you can use it whenever you want to. But before you go and crush all the blacks in all your photos, just to be cool, it helps if you understand the psychology behind this look. In other words, how will it affect how people look and perceive your photos? Now, when you crush the blacks in a photo, you're removing detail from the image, the shadow detail specifically, which means that technically, you're making the photo worse. So why do it? Well, there's a few reasons. When you crush the blacks, you increase the contrast in your image. And because your brain is designed to focus on high contrast areas, it's like an evolutionary thing uh, to stop you being attacked by dinosaurs or something. Either way, higher contrast images are just easier to process for your brain. And so they're more appealing to your brain. There's also other reasons in other situations when it might be beneficial to use this look. Crushed blacks can remove clutter from a dark background, making the subject stand out better, just like in this photo. It can also be used to make a photo more dramatic because it recreates some of the properties of a single light source coming at you, just like in this example. Okay, so now you know what crushed black means, how do you get the look? Well, we'll just open the curve panel in Lightroom, Photoshop, or whatever editor you use. I'll use Lightroom. You can see here my image histogram is displayed just under the curve. The left side of the graph is the shadow side, the right side is the highlight side. To crush the blacks, we drag the bottom left point slightly to the right. This compresses the shadow information into fewer shades. Now there's no fixed rule for this, so adjust to your taste or to whatever fits your image. Next up, what are milky blacks? This look is achieved by lifting the black point in your image. This means that any pixels in your image that were black are now shifted to a shade of dark grey. It's a bit as if you added a few drops of milk to a black coffee, kind of. Anyway, when should you use this look? It looks like the milky black look comes from old films. Cameras at the time didn't have the dynamic range of today's gear, so to correctly expose images they had to make concessions, and this was just one of those concessions. The look then became emblematic of a golden age of cinema, and then people started emulating that look in today's digital age, which is why people call it a cinematic look. It's become popular in the last few years because many photo apps have incorporated it into their vintage filters. And as with everything that trends, most people love it, but some people really, really hate it. So as with any stylistic choice, only use it when it fits the mood of your image. In fact, the key to any stylistic decision is that it needs to fit the story you're creating. Image, video, it doesn't matter. Don't just use this trick because you've learned it here on YouTube. Understand how it works, what it does, how it makes people feel, and then work out how you can use it correctly. In fact, I'd say the reason so many people dislike this look is not because it's been overused per se, but because it's just been really badly used so often. Anyway, how do I get the look? Let's go back into the curve panel in Lightroom, grab that same point on the left side of your graph, but instead of dragging it to the right along the x-axis, you're going to lift it up along the y-axis slightly. This is why it's called lifting the blacks. Unlike crushing, lifting blacks reduces the contrast in your image. So if you overuse it, you can get this like muddy, incoherent mess. So you might not want to overdo it. The last thing I want to say is that you can actually use both of these looks together. In fact, that's probably why so many people have been getting confused. In this image, I'm going to crush the blacks and I'm also going to lift them. 
Now, doing this is a nice way to get that cinematic look and some nice contrasts. That's pretty much all I've got to say on this, so I'll see you guys in the next video.